Countless residents have rampaged of Israel to ascend against the totalitarian Netanyahu administration in the midst of an aggregate media power outage. The Walk of Shame descent saw a large number of irate Israelis challenge Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's degenerate government in Tel Aviv on Saturday. Heretz.com reports, demonstrators on Tel Aviv's Rothschild Boulevard held signs perusing, out with the degenerate. And not liberal, not rightist, but rather genuine. Others read, being a pig isn't fit and BB go home. Several dissenters against debasement assembled in Haifa also, with signs perusing majority rule government isn't a proposal and disgrace on you. A quarrel broke out towards the finish of the showing when a little gathering of rebels conveying signs supporting a blacklist of Israel endeavored to join the dissent. Hostile to defilement demonstrators verbally assaulted the gathering and the police needed to mediate after nonconformists began pushing them and tore signs strong of the BDS development. Those that shared in the challenge were rankled by another bill that would have kept police from publicizing suggestions on arraignments. The dubious bill was generally accepted to have been drafted to secure Netanyahu, who is as of now under scrutiny in two prominent defilement outrages, by keeping people in general oblivious. The main examination includes charges that he got rich endowments from well-off agents and the second includes claims that he arranged an arrangement with a daily paper proprietor for more positive scope. Finally week's rally. About 30,000 dissenters walked along Rothschild Boulevard to Habama Square, a considerable lot of them calling for Netanyahu to be bolted up. A day after the rally, plainly bowing to open weight, Netanyahu declared that he had requested that legislators devise another draft of the bill with a goal that it would not have any significant bearing to the progressing examinations against him. For as long as year, each Saturday night, exhibits have accumulated in Petitikva, the main residence of Attorney General of Achim and Elblit, to challenge what they saw to be his foot-dragging and examining affirmations against Netanyahu. These challenges, which at first incorporated a couple of dozen demonstrators, extended after some time, at their pinnacle drawing a few thousand. The two primary pioneers of the challenge development are Eldad Yeniv, a notable hostile to defilement crusader, and Mani Nafli, the previous boss overseer of the head administrator's home who rose to acclaim in the wake of suing Sarah Netanyahu, the PM's better half, for harsh conduct toward him and other family unit staff. Naftali won the case and furthermore won in an interest. Yanov and Naftali chose to move the challenges to a more focal area in Tel Aviv a week ago on account of the immense open clamor over the alleged proposal's law. The protesters started their walk, emblematically, outside Independence Hall, where Israel's Declaration of Independence was first perused. The coordinators reported that the week-by-week -week challenges will be proceeded onward to lasting premise from Penetikva to Tel Aviv. Concerns have been communicated that less demonstrators will show up this Saturday night, not just in light of the fact that Netanyahu consented to correct the dubious bill, which had been a key factor behind the tremendous turnout a week ago, yet in addition as a result of the strains flaring as of late in Jerusalem, the West Bank and Gaza over the Trump Organization's choice to proclaim Jerusalem the capital of Israel. Blaming Netanyahu for warming up the turf altogether occupy consideration from the debasement embarrassments undermining his rule, Yan have encouraged supporters throughout the end of the week, in a generally shared Facebook post, to appear in constrained Saturday night.